Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to be back filming this video, sitting down, get ready for a very kind of deep, long chit chat about where I'm currently at in life. I guess just having a big old catch up. So I'm gonna do some makeup with you, show you some of my favorite products, things I've been loving, some new bits as well. Before we get into the video, I'm just gonna share some new jewelry pieces that I have with you, which are from Ana Luisa. As you know, I've been working with Ana Luisa for quite some time now. I absolutely adore their jewelry pieces and have quite the collection growing now. So I have these two new rings to share with you. They're both beautiful in of themselves. They look great together, but they'd also look great just on their own if I take this one off. Firstly got this beautiful little dainty ring, just a single loop of little diamantes, which is beautiful. And then this one, which is a little bit more statement. I think this is more like a Par Parisian, like croissant style ring is how I'd call it. And it's kind of intertwined with a little bit of like diamantes and sparkly bits and then just the gold a lot of the jewellery if not all of the jewellery I wear is gold so there's quite the selection you can get gold rose gold silver on Ana Luisa they have so much to choose from and then I have a new bracelet which I've added to my stack so this one here is um this beautiful like pearl and little flower gold bracelet it goes perfectly with my other this one here as well is from Ana Luisa um, I've had these on for such a long time and never take them off to shower in them and this one is the perfect little addition and um, so it has little pearl flowers and gold again. I also have some new little stud earrings in. They're very discreet um, which I kind of love because they're so understated. Little again gold and silver studs or just kind of matches. I've just got like a little stud just adds a little something to the ear which I really like. I hardly ever if ever go without a pair of earrings in now. The new pieces that I have been wearing a lot and I feel like my favourite is probably this little bracelet just because I absolutely adore my little stack and it really adds just a few little new elements that I don't have already with the pearls and the little flowers. They do have a matching range I believe with the flowers. They might have some earrings and maybe a necklace as well. I can't remember exactly. Everything from Ana Luisa comes in like a little pouch so it makes a really beautiful gift or a great way to store it. Ana Luisa are also 100% carbon neutral as a company. So perfectly sustainable for the environment. Their jewellery pieces are really great quality at a reasonably affordable price point. So if you need a gift for someone, if you want a gift for yourself maybe with like valentine's day coming up something like that you might want to treat yourself or a loved one might want to treat you to a piece of jewelry i would definitely recommend checking that on a louisa i'll leave all the details in the description so you could have a little peruse and browse at your leisure after this video yeah let's fast forward to when i'm not looking so made up with a fresh face and have a good old catch up about life so my face is definitely looking a little different to the intro but i'm gonna take out my heatless curls to begin with i only put this in this morning so it's not been in for very long normally I would sleep with it overnight but I didn't put it in last night and then had regrets this morning when I hadn't put it in so I put it in for a couple of hours. I've moisturised, put some SPF on my face so hopefully we're ready to go with the makeup. I feel like makeup just makes me feel so much better whether that's a good thing or not. Yeah I thought I'd just put some makeup on, we could have a chat, tell you about what's been happening in my life, have a bit of a catch up. This is the NARS matte creamy concealer I think it's called. I use this for my spots. So where I've got like a little breakout, I'll just cover it with a little bit of this. So for foundation I've kind of gone back to this trusty number which is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushed Flawless Foundation. The colour match isn't going to be great right now just to warn you because of my lack of fake tan but I will sort it out and it'll be fine. This foundation is not cheap so I can't be affording to buy it in every single shade there is. I should probably get a lighter shade or maybe it's not like too bad. I just got this mirror as well because otherwise I literally cannot see what I'm doing. Well, I don't think it looks too bad. Maybe it comes up on the camera. Um, so yeah, let me, instead of just focusing completely on makeup, I'm using the It Cosmetics brush by the way. It's a very good foundation brush. Let me try and catch you up a little bit on life. So yeah, it's definitely been some time since I have been active and regularly active on YouTube. I have been active over on my Instagram if you do follow me there, but I know not everybody does. I actually don't even know where to start and begin. I feel like there's so much to say, but there's also not a lot to say, but it's just been a little bit of a hectic time in my life. Probably nearing on two years, near enough the whole time I've been on YouTube. As some of you may or may not know, I went to uni and, and studied law and studied to be a barrister and things, and then kind of my life changed and my perspective on life changed throughout lockdown I decided perhaps that wasn't going to be the route for me and so when I had kind of a platform over on my Instagram 
plus we're in lockdown it was really hard to go out and just like find a career especially when you were changing careers or changing career paths I didn't really know what it was that I wanted to do what the right thing for me was and with my qualifications for me as a person etc etc so I actually don't think that's a bad match at all I'm so bad at chatting about stuff and putting my makeup on at the same time so nars radiant creamy concealer maybe i should bring you in a tiny bit just so you can see a little bit better i don't want to be too far away from you so yeah i was in i'm kind of giving you backstory because i feel like this sums up where i'm at in my life and um, so i obviously did did like all my studying at uni and i feel like coming out of university is hard enough as it is i know a lot of people if you are like a student that's recently come out of uni or even in the past couple of years i think it's really hard to know what you want to do you've obviously most of us have probably been in education for most of our lives and suddenly we come out into like the big bad world and we're just like this tiny little fish that has to learn how to swim and i feel like if you're not on this set path or you know exactly what you want to do which is the case for most people don't know what they want to do and i think it's kind of tricky to know like where you stand where's best like what's the next step for you and stage i feel like i had this amazing opportunity um with the platform that i already had over on instagram and this passion to like start doing youtube and creating videos and sharing parts my life and things that I love and all that jazz obviously I love it like do not get me wrong I have really loved doing it but but I have thick skin let me put it that way you've got to have a thick skin and I probably don't have the level of thick skin that's needed to share or maybe not the maybe I do have the thick skin that's needed but maybe I just don't have the maybe I'm still on that learning journey about how much of a thick skin you actually need I mean most people and i mean that genuinely most people are lovely are people that want to see you thrive and enjoy watching your content and it's just a bit of escapism i mean that's why i watch youtube and things it's just a bit of fun it's just a bit of like light-heartedness just to watch someone else's videos but for others they're kind of just in a position where they want to tear you down and anything you do i'm realizing this is going to sound really negative and i don't want this video to be like just a negative video but i'm catching you guys up um but yeah, I'm just like realistically and honestly just catching you guys up with where I'm at. I think there's always going to be, and I think we're all aware of that now, um, that there's always going to be a group of people, whether it's on the internet or real life, that will not support you, will not clap for you, will not be happy and not like celebrate your successes with you, who don't want you to succeed. And that is a massive minority of people in the grand scheme of things. But I'm on the learning curve of still trying to accept that I'm comfortable enough in what I do to not let that kind of criticism get to me, if that makes any sense whatsoever. And I feel like because my self-esteem has kind of been a bit wibbly wobbly these past, well certainly these past few months, maybe even a year like I feel like it's like it's definitely put me in a position where I've been questioning a lot of things and I've been taking a lot of time out to do other things work on like myself and try and get myself into a situation and actually I just end up in this big vicious cycle even though it's only such a small like minority of people it really like affects your mindset and I feel like if you're already at a position where you could easily be knocked off and then someone comes along and knocks you off it's really hard to pick yourself back up and get going I feel like that's the situation I've kind of been in with YouTube so obviously like the last video I posted was our trip to Iceland which was absolutely wonderful this is amazing by the way this is the um rare beauty contour stick I'll leave everything below by the way just in case I forget to say anything as I'm going along this is a new one so this is an elf putty blush I'm actually not sure how to go about doing this i would normally just take my beauty sponge as you can see with all the the pink and just kind of roll it in to it but i'm not sure how pigmented or not it is like that it's, it's definitely more subtle but i'll go in with powder bronzer anyway and it's really affordable i think it's like six pounds or something basically that's where i've been at it's been a tricky whirlwind and it's i feel like it's really difficult to understand fully unless if you're in that person's shoes but yeah it's it's definitely been like a roller coaster and there's been other things going on as well there's been things about like well am i gonna keep doing this like as a full-time thing am i gonna start looking for other roles or other jobs and things like where could my life take me obviously i have my small business as well and that's been like really great over like the christmas period but obviously january is slower i mean i think everyone in some way or another will be feeling the financial pressures of different things at the minute and that in turn is affecting small businesses everywhere because at the end of the day most of us sell things that aren't a need they are a want 
wants and they're nice to have. I know I'm like so choppy with all my thoughts, but me as a person growing up, I've always been like extremely driven, worked really hard, taken on like loads of different responsibilities. And I feel like me in the past year or two has like lost her purpose and like lost her mojo a little bit and like that work hard working ethic I feel like because I don't have almost enough to challenge me that I'm not succeeding as well as I want to and I know that's because I'm like the biggest self-critic ever before Christmas I'd seen some like really really mean comments and it just like knocked me completely and then I was like it's Christmas coming up I don't want to be like down in the dumps I don't want to feel the pressure of having to post and show up and be like happy and chirpy when actually I'm not feeling that great work on a few other things which I will tell you about in a moment and just like enjoy enjoy the christmas period and then obviously when january comes around there's all like this big pressure on january being this fresh start this new year this new you amazing time um and i really wanted to like hit the ground running with it and i just like haven't um i have a bit like at the right at the beginning i was doing really well with like health goals fitness goals um work goals that kind of jazz and then i felt like everything is just on hold at the minute which is not great let me continue doing my makeup before i just sit here and yabber on and actually not doing anything i'm gonna actually do the set and like bake method so i'm just gonna set underneath my eyes and then put some loose powder on top and just leave that there for a little bit so yeah obviously then it was christmas so we had a lovely lovely christmas period it was so nice all my family and chester we're off for two weeks so like my mum dad and my sister just we all like work in different things um but just so happens that we all got two weeks off and obviously with my work being self-employed I got two weeks off and my also my employee job um I got a two-week holiday so yeah it was so lovely to just spend that time together we spent loads of time with family just doing stuff like seeing people we went to some really nice events it feels like literally so long ago now but went to some lovely events we just spent christmas with family chester's mum and my mum and dad um and just had a really good time ate lots of food um chilled out some days but it just seemed it seemed to be like really busy but also a chill period so that was nice um had a really fantastic new year i know there's like a lot of pressure on doing something on new year and usually i'm just like oh we'll just stay in or just do something chilled um but we actually went to the local pub and it was so much fun it was literally like the only way i can describe it was like a big wedding everyone was up dancing there was obviously alcohol involved but it was just so much fun um and just like really good vibes and actually just brought in the new year in such a lovely way we went with my mum and dad and my sister one of her friends the songs are amazing abba and s club and westlife and like all my all my jams honestly had the best time there it was really really fun this is the huda beauty powder I've not actually tried this one before um but heard very good things things do you see that it goes everywhere though let me tell you for bronze that i'm going in with the mac mineralized skin finish i mean if you've watched any makeup video that i've ever done before you will know i love this it is fantastic um and i've just recently got a new one i must have had like six or seven of these yeah we had such a wonderful like christmas and new year time like i say it just feel like a lifetime ago really like january has gone quite fast for me i don't feel like it's been it has kind of dragged but it's also gone fast normally january is like the longest month in the ever i guess like one of the biggest things that's been going on behind the scenes which i've been like tentative to talk about just in case it doesn't work out or whatever but at the end of the day if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out is that i have been applying or i've been looking for um like a full-time job something that potentially incorporates my like qualifications i'm quite a qualified girl and it's really difficult to find a role that isn't being a barrister that would in any way encompass your qualifications being for this role i'm not going to say too much about it because like i say if i don't get it then i don't get it and also a lot of the application process was confidential so i'm not really sure how much like i should be saying um I mean the basis of what it is won't won't matter but just each kind of stage just kind of like went for it i applied for it back in november so yeah i still haven't found out and i applied for it in november um on the very beginning of december it was like a really long application process which you know i did that was fine whatever i just kind of like applied for it on the whim of if i get it i get it if i don't absolutely fine like it's just 
one of the only jobs in a really long time that I've thought, do you know what, that sounds really interesting, it sounds like it'd be demanding but also not like just completely life consuming and also like would incorporate my skill set and qualifications well. So I thought, do you know what, let's just go for it. It's nothing, literally nothing to lose by doing so. So yeah, I applied for it, as I said, back in November, December time and then I got through, didn't realise like how many stages there'd be to get through so I got through the first stage before Christmas and then I didn't know that I'd got through I'm gonna just wipe this away with this bronzer brush underneath my eyes sorry my camera just died so I need to change the battery it's so weird coming back after not filming for such a while then you just feel like you're all rusty um so sorry if the first half of the video is more rusty than second yeah I had got through the first round applied for the second round before Christmas then had to wait until after Christmas which was like two, two and a half weeks to see if I got to the next stage. And by this point, I was kind of like hoping that I would get it. Like I'd put in so much effort already so far. Um, and it kind of gone from, oh, who cares? If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. To like, actually, I really want this now and I've put in a lot of effort and I feel like this role would be really suitable for me. After Christmas, I found out that I then got through to the next stage um, and then that was like a written assessment. Then I had to wait to see if I got through the written assessment. Then when I got through that, I had, last week I think it was, had a interview and assessment centre. I still don't know the outcome of it. As I say, I was tentative about whether to say anything because I could probably have told you the outcome either way. I think I should be finding out next week. But then part of me just kind of felt like I'm doing a catch up that has been such like a big part of my life because it's taken so much time and effort to apply for that role. Whether I get it or not, it's been definitely an ongoing thing that I've been like kind of waiting for the next stage. I've been then doing the next stage. It's definitely been this like ongoing process that's taken quite some time. So I almost feel exhausted by that process now. And obviously all hypothetically, if I did get that job, that's definitely gonna change my life. It will then become full-time employment and this job actually has like an, an element of like education as well and studying so I'll be getting qualification at the same time so obviously it's all hypothetical at this stage I don't know what the outcome is but it certainly puts me into a position of thinking that my life what my life could be like if I do get this job but I definitely don't want to give up doing social media or my business or anything none of that is going to like stop um but I just need to make sure that I get into a routine of being able to kind of keep up with uploads and just filming different things taking my camera out with me and things like that so yeah that will definitely be continuing irrespective so yeah i feel like that's one of the biggest updates even if it's not an update yet because i don't know the outcome it's still an update of like where my life's at and like what i'm doing so i'm constantly going to be i'm constantly looking like just keeping an eye on the job market and what's out there but for me i just feel like kind of what i was saying earlier i feel like that will just take a lot of like pressure off the situation and like when I was at uni and I was, you know, studying and working and everything and I was doing my Instagram, that's when I loved it because it was a hobby. It was something that I did in addition. And although it was work, it was like an escapism and it was fun and there wasn't the insane amount of pressure on it and to know what, that you have to do an upload or that you have to buy something for a video or whatever it may be we'll see where that goes and if it doesn't work out then that's fine and i'll just go back to the drawing board i'll keep looking apply for some other things but i haven't yet applied for anything else because this has been such a kind of well firstly this is something that i've seen that the first thing that i've properly seen that i thought this is this sounds really good and secondly that i spent so long on the application process it's been going on for like two months more than two months now that i feel like at this point if i start applying for something else i may as well just wait it out like i'm gonna find out next week um so yeah that's been happening which i mean it's not really a life update yet because who knows but it's definitely a mindset update and it's an update of where i'm at like with socials and what's gonna be happening and I get some really lovely messages when I kind of like drop off the face of the earth on social media people being like are you okay like what's happening like are you all right and I'm like I am fine I'm just like processing behind the scenes and just dealing with stuff what will be will be and we'll just we'll just work it out so yeah this is the telescopic what is it l'oreal telescopic mascara and chester and i and two of our friends went skiing at the weekend just to a local place like where we can practice skiing escape it's not um we didn't like go on a skiing holiday first time we'd ever been skiing 
so for like the last three days we've been in like a pile of muscle ache honestly it's been kind of hilarious and kind of like what is going on I've ached in places that I didn't even know I had muscles. It's been intense, but it was a lot of fun. I kind of like equally loved it and hated it at the same time. Once I started to get the hang of it, I obviously enjoyed it more. At the beginning, it was incredibly stressful trying to pick everything up. Um, and the instructor probably didn't explain things amazingly. Well, certainly not to the extent where I understood what he was saying. So most of us were just like winging it and hoping for the best. I ended up falling over a number of times, but I feel like once I got the hang of it and I was able to like stop and go again, I was okay. And I feel like I've not ruled out the idea of going away on a skiing holiday. I know Chester's really keen on it. He was really good at it actually. He picked it up really well. You're not gonna pick it up as well as you do going on a ski holiday. That's what everyone says. Like going to these like classes and lessons are just is just not like a representation of what it's actually like when you're on the Alps or when you're out there in the ski in the actual like thick snow doing the th doing your thing. We did that on Saturday just gone. It was definitely challenging because I'm not hugely physically fit. The first little bit was challenging because I didn't know what I was doing. Then there was like a middle bit which was kind of fun and then the last bit wasn't great because I was just so exhausted I was like properly fatiguing and I was like it's not as enjoyable anymore because I'm not performing as well like learning as well because I'm just so tired and they had this like little pulley rope and it was like to get yourself up the slope and it was like a motorized rope and it was just it literally was eating into my gloves like my ski gloves had hole in them um, and it was like burning through to my hands. It's like rope burn and it was just really unpleasant. And by the end of it, I was just like, I just don't even want to go back up that rope. So yeah, leading on kind of from the physically fit thing. Um, I do feel like this is my year that I really need to get into shape. Um, combined with the things that I was saying earlier about my current mindset and how life's been for the past like year or two, especially as an emotional eater, that has massively taken its toll on the way that I feel about myself, the relationship I have with food and the way that I actually look. And I feel like that's not a good thing, really. I feel like it's something that I definitely want to change. And I'm hoping that maybe having a little bit more structure in my life, um, which I do have structure in my life already, it's not like that, but just kind of changing lots of different aspects and just relieve, relieving a bit of stress and like the emotions surrounding it, that I will find it a little bit easier to like actually lose some weight. It's not an easy thing to do, which is why I'm kind of mad at myself for putting myself in this position. Back in like, it was probably three or four years ago now, I lost like a substantial amount of weight just before lockdown. Um, and it took me like a really long time to do that and get myself in that position and I'd honestly never felt better. I'd never felt more confident. Um, I felt almost like a different person and I feel like that's maybe one of the reasons why I feel like a different person now but just the other side of that. Like I feel like not the best version of myself and not great with confidence and self-esteem struggling a little bit more because I'm in a position where I'm not feeling too good about myself and then all these additional factors that just kind of like have a domino effect. Yeah, I'm really sorry if this is coming across like negative. I'm not meaning for it like that. I'm just meaning for it to just like catch up where I'm currently at, kind of what I'm gonna be doing and what I'm gonna be sharing, where my life may go or change or what you can expect from my channel and things. And yeah, I just wanna say like the biggest biggest thank you if you stick around if you watch my other videos if you follow me on instagram if you've dropped me a message like whatever or if you've just like been thinking or where is she at or if you're watching this video now and you've made it to the end and you are just here listening to me abber on like i honestly cannot like thank you enough it's so therapeutic i honestly feel a hundred times better just sitting down putting some makeup on and like chatting to you like just it is like a form of therapy. Today I've just got up and I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna film a video. I'm just gonna get back into it. I'm actually just gonna finish off with some setting spray. This is one of my, probably my favorite actually. I've just bought a new one. It's Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Funny position I'm in at the minute and I'm in a very, very fortunate position. We have a lovely home. I have work. I'm able-bodied. I'm absolutely fine. I'm just, I guess like stuck in a rut that for a while I've, been unable to get myself out of. That's kind of where I'm at at the minute. Take my clips out. These curls are just always great. I mean, it's only literally just a few little Tussle curls. 
but I'm loving it. Also don't forget about my Ana Luisa jewellery. I'll leave all the details in the description so you can go and shop and all the little bits that I've got. Loving the new edition with the rings. Bracelet is probably my favourite. It's so like delicate and dainty. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I will catch up with you very soon. See you soon.